This is a short video about what a subbasis for a topology is. And so let's say we are given a set X and we are given a topology T. We would say that a collection um, or maybe a subset, we'll call it fancy S. So I'll try to use my cursive S of T is a subbasis. Um, uh, and what's the requirement then? Um, if all, say, uh, all possible finite intersections um, all possible finite intersections of members of this set S uh, are um, that they form a basis for the topology so we'll do an example in just a second what I'm saying is you've just got a bunch of things that lived in T and uh, what are we requiring that when you pick six or seven of these at a time, say, that's what I mean by finite intersections, that all possible such ways that you could do that, maybe I'll pick six at a time or seven at a time, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all possible ways you could do that, when you take all those sets together, that should form a basis for the whole topology. Now, this is what the definition of a subbasis is. Uh, a useful way to uh, say, think about what a subbasis is. Um, Subbasis, so maybe I should say it this way. The perspective that we're going to use subbasis for is we're going to use subbasis to build a topology. So it turns out that a subbasis uh, determines a unique topology. So, in other words, um, if you had some subset S, it turns out that there's exactly one T, one topology that corresponds to this S here. And so maybe the way that I'll say that is what's the requirement then so the thing that you need to know so this theorem here is uh, if say fancy s is any um, collection or family of subsets of your set subsets of x such that just the union of all the stuff in, in s it gives you x back so such that x is equal to i'll write it this way uh, the union of regular S, where S is an element of fancy S or cursive S, um, then uh, there exists a unique, so maybe you've seen that notation before, the exclamation point means unique, there is a unique topology, uh, unique topology T on X uh, for which fancy S is a subbasis. Is a sub basis. All right, and so what am I saying? If you reached into the power set of X and you grabbed any handful of sets that you want, that forms a sub basis for some topology. And uh, what we'll do is we'll do a little example now in order to uh, do such a thing. So uh, let's see, what's my favorite set? What are all my videos contain? How about X is one, two, three. And let's say that the uh, sets I'm going to look at are, let's say I take, let me think about this, about one, um, let's say one, two, I guess, and two, three. All right, so I just kind of randomly picked this. This is just a bunch of subs, a bunch of random subsets of, uh, X here, and what I'm saying is, I'm going to tell you that this stuff is a subbasis for some topology. And so, how do we figure out? So, find the topology uh, T. That's this uh, collection S. What is that? S determines. So that's my S up there. And so, um, how should we do this? Well, what is the definition of a subbasis? I require that uh, we're going to take all possible finite intersections of things in my set fancy S here. And so when I do that then, um, what would we get? So if I think about, uh, if I do these two, I should get one. So one should be in my set. So I'm gonna make a big list here. So one is the first thing that's in this thing. Uh, what else could I do? Um, I could do one in this one and we'll get the empty set. Don't worry about that though. Uh, we can exclude the empty set and not have anything bad happen. Um, what else? I guess when it says all possible finite intersections, I could just take them each one at a time. So one should be in there. With that logic, one, two itself should be in there. So I'll write that down. And uh, also two, three itself should be in there. 
And then maybe, so maybe how am I doing this? <laughs> that was me, maybe I should have started there. That was me, finite intersections, okay, take one at a time, so they should just each be in there. Now what we'll do is we'll compare two at a time. Okay, so you get one in there again. Uh, in this case, you don't get anything, so fine, we'll leave it out, it's the empty set. And then now when I do these two, comparing two at a time, I get two, so the uh, singleton is what we call that. Remember, a set with just one thing, we'll call it a singleton, so two is in there. And then finally, um, you know, what if I compared all three? That is kind of the last possible finite intersection of things from S, but you don't get anything there either. So what's the point then? That is all possible finite intersections uh, of things out of S. And what we said is that for that to be a subbasis, then that means we're gonna take this to be the basis of the topology. So you use the subbasis, this kind of random collection of subsets that I started with, and I just picked them kind of off the top of my head. And what I did is I built you a basis for some topology and you use this basis now, B, to determine topology by, now you're gonna tell me about what are all the possible unions of things that I could make uh, with these sets here. Oh, by the way, there was one condition for which how I picked this S here, and the condition was that you notice that uh, when I take the union of all these things in S, you get your whole set X back. So. It wasn't completely just arbitrary how I picked this S. So that is the really the one thing that I made sure to happen here. When you take a union of the stuff in S, then you should get X back. Anyway, though, so what are we going to do now? We're going to look at this basis for a topology we just made. And taking unions of things in here will tell me about what are all the things that are in the topology. So we'll use B to determine T by considering uh, all possible unions of things in B. Possible unions of elements of uh, B. And so uh, if we were to do that, um, what else are we going to do? And we're going to throw in the empty set in there as well, like we knew it was in there from before. Um, so empty, so maybe it would be good if I kept it up there. Um, or you can kind of think, okay, if it's a topology, then I know it has to have the empty set in it. So for me, it's kind of how I think of it. This is an automatic. Like with that logic too, X should be in there. That one you can kind of see a little bit as well, just because uh, like, okay, if I take the union of, uh, I guess I don't need that one, I'll just use these two, then okay, you get X back too. But then what are some of the other ones I could get? Well, uh, I could do unions thinking again, one at a time. So, okay, this should be in there itself. Uh, one, two should be in there itself. This should be in there itself, and this should be in there itself. So I hope you followed that while I was highlighting. I'm just gonna copy paste those. Two, three, and uh, two. And then uh, do I get anything else that is uh, any different? Well, when I take the union of any of these other things, you know, like here, I get one, two, but that's already there. Uh, when I take the union of these two, you just get one, two, and that's already there. Uh, here, you get the whole set X, which I already wrote. And so I think I'm done. I think that this is all the possible things that you could get by taking unions. So the point then is, what is this? This would be the topology that's S, my subbasis from the beginning determines. Um, and so maybe what you're checking now, like, okay, like when you take intersections of anything in here, is it still in here? So, uh, you know, when I take intersections of these two, I still land in there. And remember, you know, I should be able to do that for all of them. I take intersections of these two, I land in there. It should be closed under unions as well. Um, maybe I'll try to stay away from that word closed. Um, it should contain unions of any uh, collection of elements out of here as well too. And maybe you believe me that it does. So that is the topology that this determines. Uh, this example is also good because it kind of highlights the a difference here where, uh, maybe I'll scroll back up here. There's a difference between a subbasis and a basis. And the point is uh, this would be the basis for my topology here. And remember there was a theorem from a few videos ago uh, that said that if um, you had, so I guess for this basis, the union of all the things in there should give you X back, which sure it does. But then the harder thing to check about a basis was that uh, if you had an element, say X, that lived in the intersection of say, oops, I didn't want to use that button. If that lived in the intersection of say two things from your basis, you should be able to find another basis set that's completely contained in that intersection and that contains the element that you care about. And the reason that I did these is, okay, for example, uh, the element is two. And two definitely lies in the intersection of the green, one, two, and two, three. Now to be a basis, I need to be able to find another set in my basis 
It contains my element X and it is also contained in that intersection of the greens. And so, well, that's the orange one that I highlighted. So what if I try to apply that logic up here? You know, like, you know, does this enjoy that kind of stuff as well? Well, I see, you know, if X is still two, then two is in, I'll use my same colors here, then two is in the intersection of these two, but there is nothing else in fancy S here that contains two and is contained inside uh, the intersection of the one, two, and two, three, and the intersection of the greens. And so what I'm trying to get across to you is that a subbasis is not necessarily a basis. Uh, subbasis need not be a basis. And so maybe now that I've written that down to convince yourself, maybe rewind and watch what I just said one more time, need not be a basis. Uh, on the other hand, um, any basis satisfies the requirement to be a subbasis as well. And so I'm gonna to try to draw you a picture that summarizes what I'm trying to say to you. I like drawing circles and things. So what I'm saying is any basis is a subbasis, but then there definitely are things that are in the middle here that are subbasis, but they're not basis element. They're not a basis for any topology. So subbasis again are a much more general thing. It's a much broader category uh, of things.